Welcome to Reach for Healing. I'm Rebecca, and I'm popping in this evening to talk a little bit more about Florence Scovel Shin and some of her writings. Tonight, I want to talk about her book, The Secret Door to Success, and the chapter in that book is called The Fork in the Road. I'm going to start by reading just a little bit from the beginning, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Every day there is a necessity of choice, a fork in the road. Shall I do this or shall I do that? Shall I go or shall I stay? Many people do not know what to do. They rush about letting other people make decisions for them. Then they regret having, let, having taken that advice. There are others who carefully reason things out. They weigh and measure the situation as if they are dealing in groceries. Then they are surprised when they fail to attain their goal. There are still others who follow the magic path of intuition and find themselves in their promised land in the twinkling of an eye. And of course, she means by, by using the term their promised land, she means they reach the goals that they had set out for themselves. Intuition is a spiritual faculty high above the reasoning mind, but on that path is all that you desire or require. In my book, The Game of Life and How to Play It, I give many examples of success attained through using this marvelous faculty. I say also that prayer is telephoning to God and intuition is when God telephones us. So choose ye this day to follow the magic path of intuition. Now, I did um, mention, I think, in a previous video that Florence Scovel Shin lived in the late 1800s and into the early and middle part of the 1900s. She was an artist by training, and she was also a metaphysical spiritual teacher, and she held salons in her home. She taught classes and coached, we would call it today coaching, coached people about life problems uh, based on solutions that, were, that are found in spiritual metaphysical texts and training. And so she talks in this chapter, she goes on to talk about in her question and answer classes where she taught people how to cultivate this intuition. And she talks about how when it's necessary for us to make a decision. So if we're faced with something where we have to make a choice, we have to make a decision, we have to um, give someone an answer about something. She says, ask for a definite, unmistakable lead and you will receive it. And this is something that people who have walked the spiritual path for a while are very good at doing. I raised my kids, well, I was raised by mothers and grandmothers and aunts who encouraged the following of that gut instinct, to trust your gut, to listen to those divine nudges, as I like to call them. And I raised my children that way, and I'm teaching my grandchildren uh, to rely on that as well. These are these are these unmistakable leads that Mrs. Shin is talking about. These are these divine nudges that we get when we learn how to listen and use our spiritual faculty of intuition. And I'll give you a short example on and on how that might work. I have talked at different times about how I was very miserable in my job when I first took the job. And part of the reason for that was there were some people that I had to deal with on a daily basis who were aggressive would be an understatement. Um, devious would be an understatement. Um, it was very difficult. Let me, let me just say it was very, very difficult to work with just a handful of, of, of people, but they, even though they were small in number, um, they were placed in a position as so as to be a regular um, and consistent problem for me at work. And so in seeking an answer to this problem, and of course the question that I was asking spirit or the question that I was taking into my prayer work or into my meditation was, should I stay or should I go? And she says that in the beginning of this chapter, you know, we stand at the fork in the road. Shall I stay? Shall I go? And this was a question I was asking on a regular basis, not just once a day, but several times throughout the day. And when I calmed down and I really started focusing on listening and being open to receive that unmistakable lead that Florence Scovel Shin wrote about, things started to happen. And a number of things happened, but the loudest message, the loudest message that I got 
came when one of the individuals who was the most aggressive and the most problematic in terms of causing me day-to-day -day aggravation resigned and left. That was what I would classify as an unmistakable lead. It was an unmistakable message that I was to stay where I was, that things were going to get better. And they did. That was just the beginning. And so this process of trusting spiritual intuition, of trusting this faculty that she refers to as being more powerful and more precise than our intellect and our reasoning, it takes a lot of faith and trust because you never, ever, ever, and I hate to say never, but I'm going to say never. I've never seen it show up on a piece of paper with a very specific message on it that says, whatever you do, don't leave this job. The people that are hassling you are about to leave soon. That's not how it happens. You get little messages along the way. And some of these little messages are encouragement. I think I received a, um, I received an award that was a little, you know, kind of a little positive nudge. I received some other positive feedback. And then this other thing happened uh, where this individual decided to leave this organization and go work for another one. And so what I had to be doing was paying attention, understanding what I wanted. And I did want to stay with this organization for a lot of different reasons and being very tuned in and open and receptive to these divine nudges that come our way when we're asking for that unmistakable and definite information, which is what Mrs. Shin teaches us. So just wanted to stop by for a quick chat and share that with you from Florence Scoville Shin's book, The Secret Door to Success. Of course, this is my book, The Complete Works. Um, of Florence Scoville Shin. And The Secret Door to Success is the third book in here. And it's divided into a number of very interesting paragraph or chapters. And I think that the next one that I'll come back to you and talk about is titled Crossing Your Red Sea. It's another great metaphysical spiritual lesson. But that's for another day. If you're in the United States, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, whether you spent it alone or with family. And until next time, take care.